It was one year ago when the rug got pulled out from underneath restaurants and bars and musicians. The Michigan Music Alliance sprung into action with the fundraiser Spread the Music 2020. In this week's Northern Michigan in Focus, Corey Atkins shows us why it's time for another fundraiser. It used to be like a creek flowing from the summit it was really an emergency response that we thought would be a one-time application, one-time distribution, just to help people ride it out until unemployment kicked in. And now we're finding that a year later, venues are still in the same position. Artists are still in the same position, and most restaurants as well. They were the first to go down. They're going to be the last to get back up. And that's why the Michigan Music Alliance still needs your help. These people are individuals who pursue what they love and share that with the world and do a great job doing that. And it's really hard when all of a sudden that foundation of being able to do what you love is just cut out from under you. And starting today, you'll be able to help. Over 200 bands will be doing virtual concerts, a live music fan's dream, like Friday night, The Accidentals. It's so hard to find the time to it breathe. And Saturday afternoon, the Carrie Lynch Band. Buzzing like a queen bee, burning gasoline, like a sweet, sweet honey. If you miss live music uh, and you miss seeing your friends and going out and having fun, this is a great opportunity to to kind of get there. And what's also cool is a bunch of bands from Petoskey will be streaming their concert live from an actual venue. They are partnering to bring a live show to Crooked Tree Art Center on Thursday, the 25th of March, live at 7 p.m. They have a great showcase put together of all kinds of artists from all over Northern Michigan who will be performing live on Facebook for free, completely free show. And there's no live audience uh, at the venue but we're hoping that people get engaged in the comments and tune in. And if you're a musician or band that needs help, you can start to apply for funds May 1st. The main qualifications, and there are more details on our website, is that you have to live in Michigan full time, make your primary source of income from live music performance. We're slowly getting out of this mess but we still need to have each other's backs. I love the Michigan music scene. You know, I've been part of it for, for a while. Um, and it, it's so fun to see all, all these bands come together for one thing. For Northern Michigan in Focus, I'm Corey Atkins.